The definition of a scenario adopted by uh, the IPCC is that it is a coherent and plausible description of a future state of the world. It's not a forecast as such. It suggests one or several alternative images of the future. Within the context of this definition, a biodiversity scenario suggests possible options for the future of biodiversity. Developing scenarios requires a modelization of the evolution of factors of global change with an impact on biodiversity, such as rising temperatures in future. Then, to try and envisage the future effects of such change on biodiversity. Climate change, increased exploitation of resources, pollution, transfer of species, fragmentation of landscapes. The many changes that the 21st century will witness will have a strong impact on biodiversity and on the humans who depend on it. Within this framework, developing scenarios about the future of biodiversity in order to better preserve it is a major challenge. These scenarios can help to warn us about the dangers posed to biodiversity in the future. They are a key tool in helping for the development of nat nature natural management plans. They can help to make decisions, to take action. They can help to communicate uh, to the general public and uh, communicate with various stakeholders. So these scenarios are still a very young uh, discipline that have been on the rise since the start of the century. You can see here the number of scientific papers in Europe and in the world concerning the subject. Here are two scenarios which describe the evolution of uh, the diversity of species in Europe between now and 2050, as compared to the reference in 1990, in fact. They are both, both based on a single scenario of climate change with two different hypotheses. The first scenario supposes that species do not have the ability to migrate quickly enough and that they will therefore become extinct in air in zones where the climate is unfavorable without moving to other zones where the climate would be favorable. The second scenario supposes that the migratory capacity of the species is sufficient for them to instantly colonize all of the areas that become favorable to them between uh, then and 2050. Both are extreme scenarios and their realism can be challenged. But in any case, climate change will have an impact on biodiversity in the future. As these scenarios started to emerge, these biodiversity scenarios, a number of uh, uh, critics were made, particularly that they insufficiently factored in the f properties of flexibility of socio-ecosystems and the capacity of adaptation of uh, living organisms. In the scenarios I just showed you, projections as for the displacement of species hypothesize that the relationship between the presence of a species and climate conditions will not change in within the projections, the forecasts of the model. The properties of flexibility of socio-ecosystems are intric intricately linked to the diversity of their components diversity of practices and uses around biodiversity, diversity of biological resources, uh, intra or interspecies. Individually, uh, phenotypic plasticity makes it possible to have variation of the traits of individuals based on their environment in terms of a population, genetic evolution, the frequency of various genetic variants, modifies the distribution of traits across a population. For a whole species, displacements through migration will change the spread of individuals. In a community of species, the phenomenon of colonization, a differentiated proliferation or extinction, will lead to changes in composition, 
of the species within communities and will modify the interactions between species within a given ecosystem. An emerging field of research is currently to try to integrate these adaptation and flexibility mechanisms within biodiversity scenarios. Just a few examples now, which I shall use to illustrate the uh, great uncertainty and uh, challenges and questions that remain open in terms of these adaptation mechanisms. So very few biodiversity scenarios explicitly describe how the ecological traits vary based on the environment. Here we have compa compared two types of scenario. In the first scenario, we suppose that trees, that the date that leaves start to grow on trees in the spring depends on the temperature in the spring and winter, as can be observed in nature. In the second scenario, we suppose that the date of appearance of leaves on trees is the same every year. For three species, beech, oak and pine, these maps show in red areas where the fact that there's a variation based on temperature of leaves allowing the species to better persist and adapt to future climate change as compared to a situation where the data is not variable. In blue are areas where the dates of appearance of leaves will change based on temperature, will compromise the survival of species. You can see that for beech and oak, phenotypic plasticity allows adaptation to future climate change and improves their fate except in the colder areas. On the contrary, for the pine, the change in temperature compromises its adaptation except in the coldest areas. So we can see that phenotypic plasticity may be adaptive in environmental conditions of today and can become maladaptive in future conditions. Understanding where, how and for what species uh, phenotypic plasticity becomes insufficient to adapt and aggravates the fate of the species is a major challenge and addressing this challenge it requires us to better understand what affects the expression of traits in individuals and also to better understand which traits will be adapted in, adaptive in future. The scenarios which factor in genetic evolution of populations are extremely rare. This study modeled the expansion of the tiger mosquito in Australia with various hypotheses about genetic evolution. The authors contrasted one scenario where the mosquitoes had no ability to uh, evolve and adapt to increasing draft, and other scenarios where they said that the tolerance of mosquito eggs was genetically variable within the species. If genetic diversity is great, the speed of expansion of the mosquito can increase by 25%. This shows that our ignorance of diversity is a source of major uncertainty as to the future of biodiversity. In conclusion, one of the great challenges for research currently is factoring in the various mechanisms of flexibility and adaptation in the scenarios, but also to factor in couplings and interactions between these mechanisms in the same biodiversity scenarios. Migration, adaptation, community change and phenotypic plasticity have a mutual influence over each other which is an additional source of uncertainty for the future.